What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a cocktail called a bow and arrow, which was created by Scott Teague of the bar Dutch Kills in Long Island City, New York, uh, around 2015. Uh, so Dutch Kills was opened by uh, Richard Bocado and Sasha Petrosky, both of Milk and Honey fame. Um, it is basically Sasha Petrosky and Richard Bocado wanted to open like a 1890s saloon style bar that um, served classic cocktails. That's exactly what they did. And classic styles and sort of modern classics. Uh, that's exactly what they did. Richard Bocado actually is also a partner in a bar here in LA called um, uh, Bar Claxon, which is owned by the bar director of the bar that I work in, uh, Eric Alpern. Just to put it all into perspective for you guys. Uh, so Dutch Kills is, uh, the name Dutch Kills is re a reference to the original name of the neighborhood. Uh, Kills means creek in Dutch. And that creek, the creek that's in reference to the name is the Newtown Creek, which separates Long Island City from Greenpoint, Brooklyn. This is an amazing cocktail with a little bit of bourbon and a little bit of smoke from your mezcal. So let's get into the drink and I'll show you how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of cane syrup. Now here's the deal. A lot of you guys are like, can I sub cane syrup with uh, Demerara syrup? And I'm going to say no. Uh, cane, uh, sugar cane syrup is a little bit different than regular, uh, let's say simple syrup in that it is made in Martinique and what it is, what it is, is basically a reduction made out of, uh, cane sugar juice. So the cane sugar juice is boiled down and boiled down very slowly until it becomes a thick syrup. Uh, it is not the same as uh, Demerara sugar syrup or, and, and that Demerara sugar syrup is going to impart uh, different flavors. This has a lighter kind of flavor than the kind of molasses -y style flavor you're gonna get from Demerara sugar. Uh, so it is not the same thing. Unfortunately, uh, it is a bit pricey, but I gotta tell you that this bottle lasts me quite a long while. So there you have it. Uh, you're gonna do one ounce of bourbon. We're using Evan Williams bonded 100 proof bourbon, as I like to do. And what's funny is that I'm looking around now and I realize that I forgot something. Can you pick it out? I'm gonna pour this one ounce of mezcal into it. Have you figured it out yet? What have I forgot? Who? what about a drinking vessel, Leandro? We can't really drink without a drinking vessel. Can we? No, and you don't have to be so passive aggressive about it. All righty. No, that's going to be too high volume. Okay. Nick and Nora. Two, two, three quarter, three quarter, half. It's a little bit big for this, but okay. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Give it a nice hard shake. Change my mind. Not going in that glass. That's a five ounce glass. This is going to be way too much for that. Bam! Bam! This one might be a little over, but we shall see. We're just gonna pour it into our glass. Oh, that worked out perfectly. That would have been a mess in the Nick and Nora, you see? You see? Huh? Huh? I was like, it's gonna look so nice in the Nick and Nora, but there it is. No garnish for this guy. Give it a sip. And I spilled it everywhere. Mmm. Oh, pineapple and mezcal is my new favorite thing, guys. Lightly sweet. I mean, the pineapple is going to have a little bit of sweetness, a little kind of internal sweetness. Um, the cane sugar syrup, it's glad that we only did a half an ounce. I think more would be overly sweet. Balanced out nicely by that lime with a combination of pineapple, mezcal, and lime. I almost want to have like a tahin rib or like a uh, rim. I said a tahin rib. A tahin rim or maybe like, like a little, a little cayenne pepper on top would be nice. Ooh, like a little spice element. Mmm. That is good. There you guys have it, my friends. The bow and arrow from Scott Teague. Drink this. Enjoy it. It is wonderfully refreshing. Very full flavored pineapple, mezcal. The bourbon in there kind of gives it a little heat. 
a little body, kind of gives it that nice sort of barrel aged flavor. And there you have it, guys. If you like our channel, kind of a clunky, it's a clunky, clunky segue, I think. But can you sub the uh, mezcal for tequila? I think everyone knows that you can't sub mezcal for tequila, Marius. Do you, were you just thinking that behind the camera? We're like, I wonder if I could use tequila instead. No, you can't use tequila instead of mezcal. You might be able to sub a different mezcal, but I will say that I really like the Vita in this cocktail because the Vita has very nice citrusy notes to it. There are some that are a little bit bitter on the finish, a little bit more bitter on the finish, or have more minerality to it. Although minerality, a nice amount of minerality uh, would be nice in here. Maybe just off the top of my head, maybe, um, maybe like illegal might work really nicely uh, in this cocktail as well. Um, but uh, tequila is not gonna do it because tequila is gonna be missing the smoke element. So you can't sub tequila because it'll be missing that smoke element. And the smoke element, the smoke with the pineapple kind of gives you like a, what? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, you're asking for a friend. That makes a lot of sense. I don't, do you, I don't, I don't, I, you're not even really known to have many friends. I'm your friend. And I know the answer to this. So which friend, which friend are you asking for? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that, is it that friend that you have in uh, Niagara Falls? That friend? <laughs> Summer camp? Yeah, your friend from summer camp. Which summer camp was it? I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. You cannot, you cannot sub mezcal for tequila on this cocktail. Uh, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And definitely check out our Patreon. We've got lots of good exclusive stuff going on at patreon.com. We have lots of exclusive stuff going on at patreon.com slash the educated barfly. That's a weird thing to say. We have lots of good exclusive things happening on Patreon. Please visit us at patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Uh, and until next time, I will see you. Nanu Nanu. Isn't that what uh, Mark says? Hmm? Mork, Mork from Mork and Mindy. Nanu Nanu, isn't that his thing? Like Nanu Nanu, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I'm not very good at these pop culture references. <laughs> All right, guys. See you guys next time.